welcome to my channel. I'll be reviewing these two products right here. This night vision products from uh, Night Fox. And as you can see right here, we got the Swift Edition, and we have the newest edition that is the Red Edition. Um, two great, two great products right here. Uh, this one right here records in 1080p. This one right here does not record. This right here is just a night vision. Uh, I own both of them. Uh, actually, this one right here, I just sold it to a friend of mine. And uh, he's using this one now because I end up purchasing this one right here. Because I do the airsoft games, so I would like to be able to record at night. So I end up getting that one right there for night games and end up selling this to my buddy he uses that one right there but this one right here i did own this one right here for i would say about two years and this one right here i own this one since december but they're pretty much identical uh products the only difference is this uh, like i said this one right here does record and contains in the right here it has the light it has the 940 nm infrared light in it which is pretty much invisible to the eyesight and this one right here contains the 850 nw um light or it is a uh, infrared light night vision and it has the little a screen inside of it and so does this one right here um, I will shoot some uh, videos tonight to show you guys the difference uh, at night time for, for both of them and both of them you can mount them into your uh, if you have a helmet or you can use the little head strap that comes with it and uh, you can monitor your helmet and uh, be able just to drop it down and stuff let me get my helmet and I will show it to you here we go as here as you can see it is mounted to my helmet it uses a normal GoPro system to mount into your, to your helmet you just get those pieces right there on Amazon and little arms that usually comes with the uh, your GoPro equipment. You mount it. this piece right here comes with the uh, with the night vision itself. Does it comes with the red and also with the Swift? And you just mount it to your helmet. You can you know lift it up, kind of like a a rhino style. And whenever you want to use it, you drop it down on it. I do have a little battery cable right here that you know I can plug it in in case I need to charge while I'm using it and in the back of the helmet right here I have the battery pack that is in the back of the helmet that in case I'm running low but it does come with I believe a 32 milliamp hour uh, battery for it and I did a night game. We played for say about three, four hours with it, and barely drop any battery power in it. Maybe one line of the battery, and I was running that right there. But like I said, I do recommend it if you're going to run the setup to get yourself a IR flashlight because it makes it easier. Even though the system is good. Your vision is about, I'll say, 100 to 150 feet out. You can still see it, but it's not that clear picture like it, it is at 100, uh, is a, a 60 feet, 50 feet is extremely clear. At 100, 150, if you don't have no buildings around or if you don't have anything that is kind of like a 
brighter wall, like a, with a white collar or a light gray or beige or anything that the light can reflect on it. And it's just pitch black. You will see it, but it will be um, hard to identify. Like you can see that if it's a person or, or if it's an animal, you can see that, but it is, is you don't see as clear. And when I video it tonight, you will see what I'm talking. I will, you will see what I'm talking about. And uh, and if you add a, a infrared flashlight to your to your gun, to your airsoft gun, or uh, it just adds, it shoots that light out there, you know, and you can clearly see up to 200 feet with no problem, even far, uh, farther than that, uh, because of the the flashlight being IR. But um, both products are great. You can. They are both uh, CQB style. You can put it on, you can walk with it. Uh, I do recommend you using, when you do get it, put it on, try it out, uh, walk around for a few hours because it, you are looking through a screen. So and until your eyes and your body get comfortable with it, it's a little disorient until you get familiar with it but it is manageable you can walk you can run with it uh you can do pretty much anything with it and you still be able to see with no problem uh as for aiming with your you know with your rifles i recommend you getting either uh ir laser or a pac 15 that has an ir laser and all that stuff it just adds more into it which it makes even better this is more a system if you do not want to dump three grand two grand or even a thousand dollars on a on a system this right here is manageable you can use those and have a really good time doing it for way last of the cost. This one right here only runs for $299 and $300 pretty much. And this one right here, the price when I did look at it, it was $199.99, $200. Uh, but right now it was on sale, for, I believe for $169, I think. I think I will post a picture of the, of the correct price on it. And like I said, this is pretty much $300, but on Amazon, as of right now, they had a coupon in there that you can click on it and drop, they give you a discount of $50. So it'll be like $250 here. And a lot of the, the complaints that they say, if you look at Amazon, it says it does not come with a SD card. Well, my did. Right here in the back, when you open it, it was already installed. It comes with a 32 gigabyte SD card already installed in it. Don't know if every single one of those come, but my did came with. So for that, you can record your videos in it. I will add clips from the game that I did. And I'll also from tonight when I do record it, you'll be able to see it. Um, fantastic, great product highly recommend it if you don't want to dump all that money into it plus let's be honest how often do you play air something right if you want to dump three thousand two thousand or even a thousand dollars on the system that you play twice every three months six months if that's what you want to do go ahead i didn't feel i i didn't feel like it for me would have benefit so I ended up going, like I said, I bought this one first, but I wasn't able to record it with it, which I was okay with it for a long time until I started making videos. So I decided, hmm, if I'm going to make videos, let's go ahead and make some videos at night time I was playing. So might as well get that one right there too. Got that one right there. My buddy wanted one, but he did not want to spend all that, the, the money on buying one of those high tech kinds. So I told him like, hey, I got this one right here. And he's like, man, I'll take it. And he went and got that one for me. He let me borrow. So 
I can make this video showing you guys, which I will make tonight a video showing the difference between them two. And you will clearly see that as for seeing, there is no difference. The only difference is that you will see is the difference between the light, because this one right here, it is a A40 NM, and A50, I mean, A50 NM, and this is a 940 NM which the difference between them is not that which one is more powerful is more as in like 50, the A50 NM you you can see the little little red light it's not really a red light it produces but a little dim light from infrared while the 940 NM you can't you cannot see you can see on the brightest set settings this one right here goes to uh, number five and this one goes to number seven and number five you can clearly see the little dim red light in it but at one you can still walk around and you can still do what you gotta do and have no problems with it and uh, because even with the highest setting either one you're still gonna need the IR flashlight because this one right here will only illuminate your surroundings so you can walk and maneuver, but you will not illuminate further enough to clearly identify a person or I won't say identify it, but like in our case, we play Aerosoft to see if it is a, a friend or a foe. So Tonight I'll make a little video for you guys showing the difference between them two and uh, and you can make a decision. I uh, will have links down the down the uh, description so you can see which one you would like to get if you want to get it. Because if you want to play at night time and you don't want to become a target when you turn your regular flashlight on because man when you turn that flashlight on at night time you become a big target. Every eye in the field will see you. And then they will gunning for you. With this one right here, it gives you the advantage. You do not, you become almost invisible. You don't need, you can see your surroundings. Plus you turn, you put that IR flashlight with it and focus the light out there in the field. You can clearly see them before they see you. And it's great. Highly recommend it. Go ahead and turn it on right here for you guys. The little wheel talks about the little wheels for focusing, which is this one right here. The red does contain the same wheel underneath it for focusing. What I usually do, I just focus to about 50 feet and uh, it 50 feet you can still see close to you uh, with no problems to be able to walk and have no difficulties of doing that but it's just if you're looking out there you'll be looking more more towards in front of you than you are in close or near to you uh, but like I said when I do the video tonight I'll be able to show you guys better you can record it or I mean not record it this one here doesn't record but you can see use this in daytime because it's also you can do the zoom in which you can zoom all the way to two and then when you press it again you just go back and then you got the second button right there that's the zoom second button right there for you can adjust the brightness off your screen right now it's right zero one you can make it brighter I usually we usually leave it zero because at night time zero is pretty bright and then on the other side right there you have the infrared buttons and then IR plus go higher I or negative to go lower um, and you can turn your IR 
will no problem even at daytime it will not damage right now is on zero on zero you won't be able to see anything which i will show it to you guys tonight this is more like right now you do not see the red light on the night vision goggles it is on it can detect uh infrared flashlight if you want to run just a flashlight you can't you will turn that on zero and you still be able to now if you turn it into let's say one you see how bright it got right there it's because the lights did come on the lights were not as bright as you see on the on the image right here is way dimmer but the camera is able to pick it up and if i turn it on even higher it gets higher and higher and higher and higher and higher but in person you don't see that you just see two little red lights in there and you go all the way until is on seven on seven the batteries will consume faster but you know it does illuminate pretty dang far all right now we're gonna be seeing the red edition same thing turn the power on right there you got the same little wheel underneath it to focus you know and uh turn it on tells the same thing focus underneath it now the difference is between this one and the screen is you have a little bit more options like you as you can see right there on the left side right there you see the infrared is off right now and then you got exposure and black light um this this one right here took a little bit longer to get used to it because when you first get it exposure comes at zero backlight at one everything but when you turn your your infrared light on and you start using the system uh you will turn your head and it will take like less like say about four milliseconds before the screen can adjust it because the exposure was not set to the correct setting so when you turn your head it will still be dark a little bit and it start getting brighter but it's not something that is that noticeable but it was noticeable for me and it was noticeable for one of my friends too that does have a red edition that he did mention it's like man when i go around the corner playing airsoft and if i go look at it if somebody's there that millisecond can cost me a life which is true and then i was kind of worried because when he said that my was still being shipped and i'm like oh man like that i did a bad thing but then when i did got it and i started playing with the settings i was i i had to adjust the settings and then didn't do that so i called him and i told him i said look man you just gotta adjust your settings for it because that's all it is it's just a setting issue and he adjusted his settings and he was fine but it's pretty much the same thing like you know you got your the differences now is you got a recording button right there to record which i will press right here right now so you guys can see it let's see right here you see the little red light on top of recording and now I'm recording. I'm recording with the phone and also recording with the camera. So you can see I'm going to post both of them side by side. So you can see the difference between, between them. And you can see. And both of them, the sound is really good. Like right now I'm recording with just the sound of the set of the cell phone i'm using my cell phone to record and right now i'm using the sound for the the camera the night fox only and you can see my two guns right there and you can see
see my team's flag plus my cut my two countries my other babies right there <clears throat> so so we can see the difference there all right it's pretty dark in here uh we're trying this night vision now as you can see you cannot see anything in front of you anything you can also see the sky kind of light up in the distance, but right here you cannot see anything. So let's start with the Swift. This is what you see with the Swift, but you know the the infrared is off so let me go ahead and turn the infrared on on one this is what you see trying to focus right here there we go so we can see a little bit better. so the shadow says about 100 feet away uh, we are on the settings one and then if we you know turn brighter brighter you can start seeing that you can see much better starting to see much farther away with that now that is just with the night vision itself now if I was to turn now the light the Turn it down here to one, and you are to use the IR flashlight at the 840. I mean, I'm sorry, the 850. This is what you see. This is, is with the flashlight on. Sorry, the phone was not focusing really well. And you can clearly see. And that's the fence in there that is about 120 feet away. But the phone is not doing no justice for some reason. It's kind of foggy in here too, so you cannot see it very well. This is with the A50. Now let me get the 940 flashlight. This is with the 940 flashlight. Uh, this is with the red edition now same thing cannot see anything let's turn the this is on one I mean zero this right here you have nothing showing on the front 
no lights the 940 nm uh, if you turn it on on one this is what you see at one setting one like i said you're just good for looking your surroundings and stuff at setting two you get a little bit more brighter let me adjust the focus right here You know, this shed right there. You've got some, because it's like foggy right now. Uh, setting three. You can see a little bit better. Of the shed over there. I mean, if they did not have this fog going on right now, and you will be able to see a little bit better than that. And setting four. And setting five, the maximum. It's really good for look at your surroundings, like I said. Uh, I'll turn it back to. This is the setting that I usually use, which is just looking at my surroundings. For the purposes of you just go ahead and put it on three and then let's turn the light the 940 nm flashlight which you'll be able to focus all the way there Now let's try the A50 NM. A little bit more, way more brighter. But you can see the red off from a distance. You can focus this very well. This is stuff. If you just want to run as a floodlight, it illuminates really good compared to the. You can see both of them running next to each other. That is the 940. And a fifty. If you want to be stealth, you will go with the nine forty because you cannot see the red light from a distance. And I'm about to show you guys now. In the right, we have the a a four a fifty. And on the right, we have the 940 flashlight. We're going to start walking back. On the camera, I'm about 20 feet away. On the camera, you can see both of them, but with your eyes, you can only see the the a the a four a fifty right now. Walk back more and still from this distance. Only thing that I can see right now is the a fifty the nine forty is. I haven't seen the 940 since I would say about 10 feet away from it and right now I I cannot see it. I can only see with my own eyes just the A50 the other one 
but in the camera you guys can see both of them but you can see that the one in the right is way more brighter than the other one and looking at right now from here i'm about i'll say close to 50 feet right now I, I i cannot see it i can only see the other one if i was to turn the other one off i would not know where the other one is at so that's it if you want to play airsoft at night time and you want something affordable uh those two items are right now one of the best ones in the market for the price thank you Bravo 6, going dark.